Hey Pfingsters and welcome to this coding tutorial. So in this uh, coding tutorial I'm going to address the topic how to break one line into multiple lines. So if you have a long line like this one, how can you break it into um, into longer into multiple lines? And so the first method is also the one that is recommended by the PEP8 standard, which is to use the parentheses and brackets. Like even each time you use a bracket and like say an opening bracket, Python expects that there will be the closing bracket. So it will look in the same line, but if it if the closing bracket does not appear in the same line, it will look in the next line, okay? So this is like, you need to know about a few Python internals to figure this out, but, so for example, if I'm if I'm opening this list here, Alice, Bob, Liz, and Anne. So maybe let's first run the code so that you can see what the code does. So it zips together those two lists, and we can print A. Uh, yeah, so we get the, the the zipped list. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the code does. It just it just need to see the output. And now you can, um, for example, here we have opened opened up the list. So we can basically write those statements in following lines. And we have opened up this um, argument list of the zip function. So we have an opening parenthesis. This means that we can also write all arguments in a single line of Python code. And if you use a standard Python editor, then it will automatically align the different hierarchical structures. So for example, this whole list, this is one argument for the zip function. And this list is one argument to the zip function. So therefore, those two lists will have the same alignment. Okay. So because they are hierarchically equally structured. So um, yeah, this is the first way of writing of writing Python code, so the same Python code into a single line of Python code. It has the same, it produces the same output, so it um, is basically equal to the to the to the one used before. And but it's it's maybe nicer to to understand and to see it. Uh, maybe not in this case, but in many other cases, it's just nicer to break things up and to write it in multiple lines instead of having a single line of Python code. Um, Good. So, what's uh, the second method? The second method say we have um, a longer computation like this one. So, one plus two plus three plus four minus five times two. Now we can um, we cannot we cannot basically do the following. So, like write this into a single line of Python code because then Python will uh, complain. It will throw an invalid syntax error. So, how can we fix it? Uh, we can use the line this backslash a single backslash just in front of the new line break and what it does internally this backslash is called the escape um, character so it escapes the character that, it, that just follows afterward and the character that follows afterward is a new line character you cannot see it but it is here um, the new line character and so basically now we can have a, a few empty spaces it, this doesn't actually matter um, you, or you can also have an arbitrary number of empty spaces in a single line so therefore we can also have a number of empty spaces in a new line uh, so th those are just ignored and now with the escape um, character um, with the escape backslash we also escape the new line character so therefore it seems to, to the Python interpreter that everything is in one line so we can also execute this code and it doesn't throw a syntax error and we, if we print a we get the result zero which is the result of this computation right um, Good. So, so this is possible, and this way you can also structure the um, computation. And and like one one quick hint, I want to give you that this would be the wrong way of uh, actually breaking the line according to the PEP standard. So the PEP standard um, expects you or um, um, recommends that you break the line before the operator, before a binary operator, like the plus and minus and uh, and multiplication asterisk operator. All of them are binary operators, so they combine two um, operands. And here we break before the plus, so that the plus appears in the new line. So this is just easier to read if the plus appears in the new line, because you see that the expression is not over yet, and you see um, yeah, the, the type of expression that is executed, okay? So good, this is the second way of uh, breaking a long line into multiple lines. There's also a third third way if you have, uh, say, a long string with some new line characters. This third way only works for strings with new line characters. So here we have a very long string. Uh, now a citation of uh, in Shakespeare, we have some new line characters in the string. Now we can simply use a multi line string and instead of the new line character we have a line break in our multi-line string and the multi-line string it starts with a triple quote 
and it also ends with a triple qu quote now, now let me quickly replace all of the new line characters and we end with a triple qu quote and now we have simply used the new line the like the real new line in the editor instead of the new line character and we have used the triple quote uh, to indicate that the string spans multiple lines this is not not possible for the single quote for a normal string a normal string can o can only span about span one line so a normal string only is a like one line string but now if you have a multi-line string and we print the result to the shell now you see that um it's basically the same string we have uh, looked at before with a new line character, but we have used the, really the line break in our editor instead of the new line character. So this also works beautifully. So these are the three ways of breaking a long line into multiple lines and the combination of them is usually enough to, for you to um, actually break up some complicated one-liners that you cannot write into a single line of Python code. Good, so if you are interested in uh, Python one-liners, then check out my book, Python one-liners. It will teach you the power of a single line of Python code. So everything there is to know about the single line of Python code, it will make you a better coder. It will um, ensure that you can understand each and every single line of Python code you will ever encounter in practice. So this is the promise of the book. So check it out, Python one-liners. I give a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.